working well. I think you said it's a Frederick 450. I've got a heap of homemade balance line connected. I've got to get come on to it. 30 meters is uh, very good. Is it? There's been a lot of hot days lately and with some time off work, what better than to catch up on some construction. The latest project is a derivative of the famous Bitex 20 transceiver. Designed by Ashwar Farhan, VU2 ESE, it uses very simple components. Things like VC548 transistors, 1N914 diodes and TV ballon cores for the broadband formats. The only chip used is an LM386 for the audio. Apart from that, it's all discrete components. It's an SSB rig of several watts intended for the HF bands. I made mine for 40 metres because it's my favourite band for portable operating. Let's have a look inside. The chassis came from a transistor radio cassette recorder. It's got a lovely drum dial and a vernier reduction drive. I've kept the plastic tuning capacitor. That's the VFO on 2 MHz. It's sufficiently low to be reasonably stable. The IF is just over 9 MHz, using 27 Meg CB crystals on their fundamental. There's circuitry on both sides. Underneath is the SSB generator, receiver, audio stages for both transmit and receive, and sandwiched in between is a crystal filter. On this side, the top side, I'll go through the stages. The main stages are the final amplifier, the driver, I'm using a BD139, here's the bandpass filter, three tuned circuits, I'm using RF chokes, 4.7 microhenry, that resonates with around 100 picofarad to get to 7 meg. Bidirectional amplifier, all using BC548s, switched between transmit and receive, and that switches the transistors that are activated for the particular function. The transmit receive relay, as for the controls, very simple, tuning knob, volume control, and on the top, power socket, on off switch, and antenna socket. This is the antenna coupler, you've seen that before, just a simple L match. The lid of the box is the front panel, speaker, headphone socket and a hole for the dial. So oh, it's been a hot day over here in South Gippsland. About 5 watts from Greensboro, from Greensboro. Just running into an inverted L in the backyard. Um, yeah, I can talk to people at home or in their cars or whatever. Um, there's a guy in New Zealand. Yeah, um, yeah this little set here has got a built-in ATU, digital readout, uh, SWR and power meter, takes built-in batteries, and um, you know, all the, it's got a little CW peaking filter, so it's a bit of fun. You'll see a picture of it on QOZ.com there, uh, Steve. It's, uh, little black Uh, 
broken through very, very well. Yeah, it's a giant, oh, giant I fishing pole. I believe you was Peter. Uh, sorry, I believe but it's a uh, radio wrong. antenna. And and I uh, uh, talking to a guy in uh, South Australia at the okay. moment and another one near Leon Gacker. Oh, uh, no, uh, friends of mine and uh, and because I do a lot of uh, radio trend, um, building. Quite a few people are saying I'm talking to aliens. Uh, no, I don't consider you two aliens. A few interesting conversations both on the radio and uh, and off the radio. VK3YE and VK5NJ, VK3ZZ. Well, as long as you're not running through the wearing any funny hats with antennas coming out to each side of it there, uh, uh, there Peter, you'll probably uh, be okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I might start getting a bit sus if you have these um, antennas coming up either side there. So, uh, fair enough. Yeah, look, I can imagine you've met some um, interesting people and uh, have some funny conversations there. Uh, but Peter, it's happened to me when I've been operating portable down there. I know the Seaford Pier quite well. Okay, all the very best, uh, So, uh, I'm using all um, homemade uh, gear, and uh, at the moment I'm running about 400 watts uh, PED, but um, I can, uh, I'll turn the PA on, that sounds about 7 or 8 watts uh, now, um, uh, Peter, so, um, but there's a lot of noise on the band, and, and I can run the full gamut, so I'll just put it back on again, that probably makes it a lot easier anyway.